Hi everyone! Astrophysicist here to talk about the strangest and least pronounceable star in the universe, Shabilsky's star. First things first, it's Polish. That's all I know. Maybe linguist TikTok can parse this one out. Second thing is that SETI folks love this star because it's actually the closest thing we've ever found to an alien dumping ground. More on that later. Shabilsky's star first caught the attention of astronomer Anthony Shabilsky in 1961. It looks like a pretty regular star, but if you study its light, you can see that its composition is actually something completely unseen. All stars are basically made of the same stuff. 75% hydrogen, 24% helium, and 1% everything else. Generally speaking, the farther you go down the periodic table, the less of that thing there is in a star. So a star might have a lot of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, but not so much of things like thorium and uranium. Shabilsky's star is not like that. Those elements are present at levels thousands to tens of thousands of times higher than in our own sun. And it's not just uranium and thorium, it's also things like gold, platinum, and even some elements that have only ever been created synthetically in a lab, like Einsteinium. It's fun to think that maybe this star is some kind of radioactive alien dumping ground, or maybe a galactic chemical beacon from a long dead society. But it's probably just astronomers, longtime nemesis, poorly understood magnetic fields. This star has a magnetic field that is 2300 times stronger than our own sun. And if you think it's hard enough to do chemistry on a roiling ball of plasma hundreds of light years away, try adding a crazy magnetic field into the mix. Good luck. Anyways, Shabilsky's star is still completely unique. We've never found anything like it in our whole galaxy. We know of a couple dozen stars that behave a little similarly, but none of them are full of elements that we've barely even invented yet. It's probably not a dumping ground, probably not a beacon, extraordinary claims, extraordinary evidence and all, but it's still pretty neat. That's all for today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments and I'll see you next time.